GoPro. Hey guys, welcome back to Trail Trash ADV. I'm Colin and I'm going to be your guide for today's video. Welcome to the first update for the Cabot Trail Dual Sport and Adventure Motorcycle Guide for 2023. I'm showing you a map right now courtesy of Google Earth and their new studio, which I was privileged enough to be granted access to. So once you guys have ridden the first segment of the Cabot Trail Dual Sport and Adventure Motorcycle Guide, which will have taken you along the side of Kelly's Mountain, along the ridges there with the lake on your right and the waterways, you will be starting onto the Wreck Cove and Dam Trails. Along this, there is a segment where you can actually go off and see the tallest waterfall in Nova Scotia. So we're going to be showing you that today, um, along with a few other little interesting locations that came up in 2022. Enjoy, guys. Hey guys, call from Trail Trash ADV. I am here doing 2022 scouting for the 2023 guide. I need to figure out a way to make that a little easier. However, I'm just about to head up towards North River Falls and I found this little unmarked trail that you will see behind me and it comes all the way up this mountain with this absolutely beautiful view in the background. And again, these action cameras aren't good at capturing the depth of field, but somebody has even set up a little campfire over there. So. Yeah, I'll put it on the map, worth checking out. Hmm, I'm gonna watch it. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You can, I don't know if you guys can tell how deep that is, but you can sure as shit lose an entire front tire in there. And like I'm talking this whole 21 inch front tire in that hole dead stop. Not super fun. There's also a beautiful, beautiful, waterfall in Little River here um, that if you wanted to swim it, I'm sure you can climb down. I'm not going to try that today, however. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess the million dollar question is, what are we sitting at for elevation? Oh, nope, go back. Give me trip computer. Elevation plot. We're at 305 meters. Anyways, I'll have to look at it later, but yeah, 305 meters elevation. Here we are, trail kind of smooths out, chills out a bit. That should be a sweeping left there, if I remember correctly, based on the hours and hours of editing video. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, bring you guys back if I get closer to North River Falls. So uh, there is a little fire pit here. Um, if you absolutely had to set up camp, say you got in here and you were struggling, it was late when you came through, Right after you to go by this little body of water, there is a spot here that you could put a couple of tents if you had to. You can tell people have before. So I've marked that in case you guys need it. Um, but uh, I'd avoid camping here because it is right on the trail. We're hoping, I am hoping I should say, that Falls Lookoff will take us right to North River Falls, folks. Um, I'm optimistic, let's see. Hey, 
Enter at own risk. Yes. This looks right. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is where we had to be strong before. Absolutely. And uh, I'll show you the bridge one more time once we get down here. You know, you gotta, you really do have to thank these ATV clubs out here. Um, and Ensora, Nova Scotia Off-Road Riders Association. The ATV clubs for maintaining these trails. And then Ensora, who were very recently, actually just a couple days ago, getting um, legal stuff signed. Huge win for us. Uh, sometimes I wonder, was wondering before, you know, like, my God, like, what does Ensora actually do? Like, they're more for, you know, racing dirt bikes. A little wash out here, folks. Um, but they've kind of renewed my faith. Caution. Okay. Ah, uh, what am I being cautious of? Just the trail, I guess. Um, you would be able to do this on an adventure bike? Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna go set the camera up on the other side just so you guys can see this. It hasn't improved much. Uh, <laughs> so as you guys can see, it's just this graded steel, but like you can fit a hand in there. You can fit a wheel in there, you know? And they kind of move around. So you gotta come across this very, very slow, right? Especially looking at the other side, you know, these are rounded. So it's gonna be easy to drop your bike and then you're coming on to longers that are straight. Not ideal whatsoever, but we will get it done. So I suppose if I was a cameraman, ah, where would I set me up? Right here? No, 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 no. We would set me up right there. Hello, Gamba. Crikey. That's what you want, yeah? Uh, but yeah, major sketch. Whew, goggles off. Okay, so I was talking to the other camera there, but this is where that bridge was washed out. And I'm actually so sketched out by this bridge right now and the way it is, I'm actually gonna walk my bike. Um, and I'd encourage you all to do the same. Um, with the way the water is right now, Worst case scenario, if this bridge was out and the support structures were still here, if you could find one piece of metal, you could walk your bike across. Alternatively, clean up this brush. If you're on a dual sport, right, oops, right down into the river there and right back up, nice and easy. That was Colin Fox. Thank you very much. Like even standing on this is hard. And then you're putting your tires right between two round things, right? So, anyways, well, I made it look easy, but it was because I took the proper steps. You don't take the proper steps, that becomes a shit storm really quick. Starting on incline, kind of have to... Ooh, whoa, those goggles are foggy. Okay, one sec. Ooh. Putting on the goggles was a bad idea. Very bad idea. Goggles need to stay off. There we go. Okay. Now I can see it. Wee woo. Sorry, Froggy. Okay. Uh, again, you want to talk about sketchy bridges. Here, here we are. Of course, you can go down to the right there. You'd have to move a few boulders. Dual sport kind of option for you guys. Adventure bike guys, you're fucked. Sorry. Like, <laughs> I, I got not plate in the river already. Yeah, so this is an advanced dual sport route. <laughs> hey guys, Colin from Trail Trash EDV. Uh, wh where am I from? EDV Trail Trash EDV. Anyways, I'm near North River Falls. Um, how do I know this? I know this because I'm past the bridge that was washed out in 2020. The KLX has made it in. Not really any issues. Definitely a couple spots where if you're not, there's definitely been a couple spots where if you're not on your A game, you're going to have issues. But this is what we're looking at going down here. You know, going down, 
not a big deal, but I'll turn around once I get down a little more here. But going up, looking, you come out of a swamp, you have to go through that swamp, which is, I don't know, it was over my boot, and then I stopped checking, and then you're immediately on to this. Now, how would I tackle this? Just FYI, I'm not going to today because I'm riding alone, and this is day one, so I don't want to fuck myself. Maybe when I have Colin tomorrow, we'll come back. But I would ramp the front wheel off of this rock. It's perfectly flat, flat-faced. And then same thing, if you can get some momentum, you can cut to the right in between those two rocks. That's a perfectly flat and nicely angled rock as well. Ramp up that. And then you're under that little flat piece and you have a little more time to think, right? So after you get up that, you get into the flat bit, you can cut around to the right, and then you'd be basically home free. That's how I'd navigate that. Um, however, what I'm actually doing is walking. And when you come down this trail, okay, you're gonna come, you know, you're gonna come, you're gonna come down, and then you're gonna be looking, and you're gonna be like, oh, that looks real shitty. But where you wanna go is right here. And it will be good, I promise. I'm always gonna cut through the woods here. Ooh. And you know, even the side trail's pretty swampy. But there is a side trail, which is good. And then wham bam, you've avoided that swampy hellhole. Which, like, that's a swamp, folks. That's a swamp if I've ever seen one. Whew. All right, I'll just keep the camera rolling. Um, if you do get through or you do decide you want to tackle this, you do have a couple of options. You got a left side, right side. Uh, pretty easy right after the swampy hole. Again, you're not going to get your adventure bike through here. Some big rocks, steep little climb. But if you get this far, uh, and you made it past all that, you're not gonna give a shit about this. This is pretty, pretty easy in comparison, so. But yeah, folks, I'm really hoping this. I can make it without having a heart attack. <laughs> okay. You know, it just keeps getting more and more fun. Lots of rocks. Definitely better off hiking if you're fully loaded for moto camping. But uh, if you really want to come out and challenge yourself, it's a good place to do it. A little remote, but a good place to challenge yourself. Oh, look where that goes. It's marked. I have my, my bear countermeasures prepared. Yeah, it just keeps going downhill. Okay, this isn't where I want to be, but it is here, and I suspect it connects down to the actual falls themselves. If that's where you want to go for a swim, which I really wish I had brought my bathing suit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll bring you back when I'm out of this little trail area and back onto the main. Okay, a little load of breath after that ascent, but uh, we're back on the main trail here. And uh, just for the record, the only reason I thought to go down that way is just because of that little piece of tape there, right there on that tree. So if you see that, that should take you back down the falls. Yeah, guys, if you're local or if you're camping nearby and you've kitted the bikes down, again, dual sports only. There's the falls, I can hear them now. But if you're just your bike and just you, you can do this. I wouldn't recommend it but you can do it oh oh wow but it's not that long of a hike less than a kilometer in and oh yeah i'm excited for this there's a loop too so you don't have to go back the way you came you can just loop around that way and there's even a fire pit here oh my god Holy hell. Yeah, so I would have been hiking down for a while to get there, but uh, wow. Worth it? You're damn right it's worth it. Would it have been easier to just hike in? Well, 
maybe it would have been easier to just hike in but now i can say i got there on my motorcycle and there's nothing better than being able to say hey i took my motorcycle i think i'm going to throw the drone out folks and you can count this as another point of interest for the cabot trail dual sport and adventure motorcycle guide 2023 So guys, that's the end of North River Falls. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoy us, well, kind of suffering a little bit to get, get to these places. Anyways, 10 minute hike in, five minute hike out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave us a like, subscribe, turn on your notifications and we will catch you in the next video. My Hero 10 Black is pooch, as per the usual. I just want to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what this trail that's going to be taking you in and out of North River Falls is going to look like. And this is it, folks. A uh, lot of boulder bashing, baby head bashing. Uh, perfect for the dual sport guys. Adventure guys. Ah, depending on your riding level, this may be really enjoyable. Well, time to get out of here, I think. I'll head back, uh, not the way I came. I will head towards Cape Clear and grab a connecting road back down towards Bedeck because Colin Stacy should be at Wicogman Provincial Park very shortly. I've been waiting for this shitty bridge. <laughs> that is not how I wanted that to go but I didn't sit off the airbag well I thought I was going for a swim there folks I'll be honest super cool stuff uh, what a shitty darn spot to drop this bike Okay, bike has not been destroyed yet, that is a plus. <laughs>